So all of these books are 25 cents and it's kind of a mishmash, but that's always a fun time, isn't it? Let's see. A lot of standardized testing books over here. I'm sure we can find some gems. If I miss something while I'm looking at it, you notice, please drop it in the comments. Okay. Nora Roberts. There's just so many books, oh my god. There's something. And so good. These are travel. Hmm. Exactly. Mood. That's really pretty. That's a little ripped. It's 25 cents. That's really, really pretty. Hmm. Interesting. There's just a lot of books here. <laughs> wow. It's like, it would take too long. Oh. You know, it's not my whispers. Okay. So many books. I love books like this that have this like cloth lining. I think it's just so, so, so pretty.
for back time. Let us see. Interesting name.
friends. I hope you enjoyed that relaxing, comforting book shopping with me adventure. I just went to one store this time and wow, it was stocked with so many different genres, paperbacks, hardbacks, the whole front as you saw was all 25 cents. They had records, CDs, VHSs, so many things. Just towers and towers of books. I just, I would love if I had a home library that looked like that. So let's dive into the books that I picked up. The first book that I grabbed, these are all from the romance section and they were around $2. This one is called Forever and Beyond by Susan Grace. Most of these that I've picked up are authors I've never read before. One I've read, but the rest I have not, and they're kind of more in the old school territory. This book says it was, oh, it's actually autographed. This is from 2001, and this looks like it's a historical shocker, I know. <laughs> So this one looks really interesting. Oh, this one looks like it's on the, on the sea. So I'm a big like pirate, anything on a ship, sign me up. So this looks like one I haven't heard of before. I've heard of very popular pirate or sea romances and this is one that's never come up in a recommendations video for me. So I'm excited to try this one out. The next book is The Shattered Rose by Joe Beverly. I have heard of this author before, but not this book. It's a really pretty look. It's like medieval on the front and it has raised text. So that makes me think it's an original copy. The embossed, so pretty. The Shattered Rose too, I think is a very beauty, beautiful title. This is Zebra. So this one was 1996. So excited to give this one a go. Yeah, it looks like it's a medieval historical. Again, shocker, I know. <laughs> the next one is The Promise of a Kiss by Stephanie Lawrence. I've been meaning to delve into more of um, Stephanie Lawrence's backlist. She seems like she's one of those classic old school authors and she does it for the most, most part right. <laughs> so this one is from the year 2001. This one has a step back. Well, oh, yeah, it's a little but the cover is really pretty. I love the purple and I'm excited to read this one. It's like it's part of the Sinister series, which I've heard a lot about. The next one I picked up was interesting to me because I'm always drawn to North Carolina themed things. And this one is called Tides of Love by Tracy Sumner. Yes, and that has pretty, pretty gold text as well. And this one is taking place on an island in North Carolina, so kind of like Outer Banks, which I would like all of that, please. <laughs> and let's see what year this is from. This is also a zebra book it's from 2000. So it takes place in 1888. So kind of a later historical. I love different time periods. Uh, you know, I'm open to all different ones. I have a preference for Gilded Age or Medieval. Regency is really fun too, but it's really popular right now, so it's fun to get glimpses into different time periods. So I'm really excited to read this. I haven't heard anything about it, but you know, North Carolina in the 1880s, something different, something new. Can't wait to try it out. <laughs> the next one, as you know me, I loved a creature on the cover, and the creature on this cover is a horse. Yeah, I was like, unicorn? No, it's a horse. <laughs> and this title and cover caught my attention. Look, it even has a lightning bolt on the horse. Like, are you Harry Potter? That's fine if you are. So chase the lightning. And this one also has a step back. And this one, I opened the step back and I was like, okay, so is this present day later, you know, 1990s? I don't know. But upon opening it up and reading the back, it seems like this is a time travel romance, which I am like injected into my veins. Outlander is the blueprint. I, it's so good. And this one's interesting because it looks like it's maybe in the eighties. I very briefly went over the title and cover of this. The book is from 01. Let's see if this has a date. Ooh, I don't know. 
I want to guess it looks like it's the 90s or the 80s or something, but what happens is this horse comes out of nowhere and it has this guy on it and he's carrying letters from the 1800s on it, 1863. So it makes me think that she's from the future or whatever time period this is taking place in and then this guy emerges but he's from the past. So this is, you know, one of those time travels I have not heard of before. Maybe that's for a reason. If so, I don't know. But it just seemed like a really unique concept. Angsty. And it had a horse on the cover. So I had to grab it. It was $2. And it was purple. And all of the things. All the box are checked. So I'm really excited to try this one out. And see if it, we can add it to a best of time travel list. Or worst of time travel list. We'll see. And the last book that I picked up. I was so, so excited about. I was about to leave. And then I caught it from the corner of my eye, Devil of Downtown by Joanna Shoup. I love Joanna Shoup. She does Gilded Age so, so, so well. I just read The Lady Gets Lucky and oh my god. So, not no pun intended, but chef's kiss if you know what I'm talking about. If you've read, you know. But this is one of the books in her uh, Uptown Girl series, wonderfully named. Um, for, first one is Rogue of Fifth Avenue. Then there's Prince of Broadway and Devil of Downtown. And Gilded Age is like late 1800s New York City when everything was, everyone was so wealthy and New York was booming. And it's just a really unique period of time. And I love seeing it written. I know it's been really popularized from the Gilded Age on HBO, but Joanna did it first. I said it. Uh, <laughs> So this book came out in 2020, so really excited to read this. Really happy I didn't have to go buy it online and scope it out and it just appeared to me for $2, so nothing wrong with that. So that wraps up my little used bookshop haul. I hope you enjoyed this little adventure. I love filming these and taking you along with me to the random bookstores that I pop into and then going over what I got bookstore aesthetic is just really calming relaxing cozy and all of those things are things that i search out on youtube all the time so i hope that if you sought this out and found this i hope you enjoyed it i hope you come back and i appreciate you taking the time to go on this adventure with me thank you so much and see you next time mm -hmm.